the good news is that um, independent media are growing. The good news is while corporate media, I think, are practicing less and less independent journalism, independent media are booming. Entrepreneurial media are booming. Maverick media are booming. And some of those uh, booming outlets are hiring young journalists who are coming out of uh, universities and colleges. I think one reason I'm such a big supporter of independent media is that they largely reject this idea that getting a star newsmaker source or you know a high level unnamed source in, in, in the case of the New York Times front page before the run up to Iraq that somehow that's the key to journalism is the big get. During the Vietnam War there was a famous maverick independent uh, journalist uh, whose reporting turns out was among the most accurate there was about Vietnam and his name is I.F. Stone, Izzy Stone. How many people have heard of him? There's movies about it, there's documentaries and books you can get about Izzy Stone. Now he never sought interviews with the, Depart the secretaries of state or the secretaries of defense, but he would pour over documents, official documents, and he would write ex expose after expose about how the stars the star sources that were so dominating the New York Times coverage back in the 60s and the Washington Post coverage, how they just weren't telling the truth about Vietnam. I'll end with a quote I just saw from a speech last week by another hero of independent journalism, and that's Bill Moyers. And he said a week ago in a, a speech accepting an award, what's important for the journalist is not how close you are to power, but how close you are to reality. Unquote. All right, I'm open to comments or questions and disagreements. And I hope I haven't uh, been too, uh, uh, poured too many, uh, too much water on the, uh, your flaming interest in uh, mainstream media. But there are even some good people working in mainstream media. It's just very hard nowadays. Um, 